Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota RAV4 Prime. It is a plug-in hybrid and today we're looking at the color silver. Let's take a look. So under the hood, this is the plug-in hybrid. The engine is 2.5 liter four cylinder. It is automatic transmission. It's combined horsepower up to 302 and it has a combined torque up to 288 pound foot of torque. Up front is where you've got the LED headlights, customary daytime running lights, and fog lights down below. To get along to the side here, you may notice this 3M treatment. You can see some of it on the front end there. Then we've got the alloy wheels, and on the front you'll find that plug-in hybrid badge right uh, between your wheel well and your side mirrors. Side mirrors themselves have integrated turn signals and a blind spot monitoring. All of your rear windows come with factory tinting. On the bottom of your passenger doors in the rear, you will find your all-wheel drive badge. Up top here, you have black roof rails. And on the side here, this is where you have your access to the plug-in for the plug-in hybrid aspect, of course. On the other side, same place is where you have your normal gas access. In the back here, you've got that XSE badge on the right-hand side. Grab for Prime badge to the left. Underneath your rear logo is your backup camera. And to open up your space here, simply reach next to that, press the button. Inside here, we have your RAV4 branded carpet mat in the factory packaging, practically untouched here. We also have underneath is in the bubble wrap is the charging cord that you need for that plug-in aspect. Back here, we have that cargo cover installed. This does fully extend outward and lock into place to help protect the privacy of any goods you have stored underneath from any prying eyes from the outside. Your second row seating has a 60-40 split. You can see it on the left-hand side here. You can use the handle releases on either side to lay your seats down flat to extend your cargo space forward, or of course, leave it up for your rear passengers. Lots of storage space throughout the back here. It is also quite easy to remove this interior cargo cover. You can slide it back and it's simply resting in these little spaces on either side. So you can take it out and lay it down or fully remove it if you so wish. On the right hand side, you'll find a power outlet and a little dugout for extra storage space. And if you look down, you'll find this little tab. Lift this up to expose your spare tire kit. To close up your rear hatch here, you can reach up to the handles on either side or press the electronic button on the left. Next, let's take a look at the inside. Inside here, you'll find your internal upholstery is the black leatherette with this red stitching. It gives us very unique contrast points. Your passengers have access to the folding down armrest slash cup holder. Easily folds away to increase your seating space. On the back of your front passenger and front driver's seats, there is pouch storage available. Back of the console, you have chargers down below. And we currently have the RAV4 branded rubber mats throughout the unit. Good amount of storage, a little bit down below here. And you also have your heated rear seat controls on the doors on either side. Then if you take a look at your front driver's handle, you'll find these double lines on the outside corner. This indicates keyless entry. So if you have your key fob on your person, you can tap your hand here to lock and unlock. Inside here, we have your power windows for front and back, power lock system, your window lock, and then also your side mirror controls, as well as continuing the red stitching on the black leather. Front driver's seat, it is power adjustable, back front up, down, and lumbar support. You have your hood release and gas release on the bottom left-hand side of your dash. Then on the left, you've got your dash brightness, automatic headlamps, defog for your rear windshield, your heated leather steering wheel controls, odometer trip, and power trunk release, as well as a little lit up storage space right above there. Hop in here and take a look at the steering wheel. First thing, again, we'll point out black leather and red stitching. Then to the left, controls for your dash display, hands-free communication, and volume control. On the right, you have radio controls on the bottom, adaptive cruise control up top, including sonar and lane departure. In the middle here is your infotainment display screen. This is where you access much of the information about your daily driving experience. You've got all of your dealer info, vehicle customization here. Then you have access to the hybrid displays. 
so that you always know what's going on, including have a diagram. When your vehicle is up and running, this will show exactly how the energy flow is working in your unit, as well as a charging schedule that you can use. Then you have all of your phone connectivity and audio listening. This has AM, FM, and satellite radio. There's also full Bluetooth connectivity for both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and an optional USB adapter. Volume control on the left, four ways, and then your climate control center. We have dual climate control so that you and your front passenger can have your own unique temperature settings, or you can sync it up to have them work in unison. We also have an eco heat cool option, then defrost for your front and rear windshield. To the left is your push start ignition. Underneath you have traction control and then high low on off controls for your two front heated seats. Underneath we have a little storage space. You'll notice this little glowing green dot with a little power button. This indicates that this black pad is actually a wireless charging device. It's compatible with all wireless charging devices. Nice thing about it, if you have your phone on there, not only will it maintain its charge, but you can also still see if you're getting notifications in and out. And it's not going to go flying because this is an inset space, so it's going to be stable where it is, maintain its charge, and you can still see everything that's happening. Behind that is your 12 volt and that USB adapter we mentioned before. You then have your gear shift, then you have parking brakes and all of your driving options, trail, eco, sport, and then the EV options. Behind that is your cup holders and then console space with additional chargers. Right hand side of the dash is where you have a little built in storage cubby running across the length of it. Up overhead, we have these little controls. They have one, two, or three dots. Those are your garage door openers. If you give this a flip, this will also change from being a normal reflective surface to being a camera. So if you have anything in the back, whether it's passengers or cargo that are blocking your view, you can just go right around that, see what's behind you, no problems. Above that, sunglasses compartment, overhead lighting, your SOS button, and controls for your moonroof. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this Toyota RAV4 Prime plug-in hybrid XSE in the color silver. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.